For Amplio Global as a company, the way we have delved into the product verticalization strategy, it's something that we are still figuring it out. Why I say this because ESG, Environmental, Social and Governance, is a pretty new space. And how we have enabled our platform, Amplify 4.0, horizontally across industries, and how we have also specialized our offering by industry is a very, I would say, a challenging endeavor for startups like us or for maybe for any organization who provides products and services like ours. I will give an example here why it is a challenge and why it is also an opportunity. So let's take an example of a Global Reporting Initiative which is a horizontal framework, but it has a very typical vertical needs for oil and gas, for automotive, for consumer products, retail, life sciences. They have all different rules and regulations. But what we are also learning in the verticalization phase of our organization, that it has to be a 65, 35 or 60, 40 rule when we are taking a product like ours in the market and services to market where 60% would be standardized, beat any industry. So what we are also seeing that also makes a platform like ours repeat and scale for the organization for any vertical. But the remaining 35 to 40% is the core niche of the industry. Sometimes I also say it's very esoteric also for certain industry sectors. I will talk about a very specific use case on automotive where We have led the physical risk and the transition risk enablement for the organization very specifically on a couple of templates, which is one of them is GRI and the other one is TCFD, but that very much an automotive vertical. Amplo Global has a few industry focus when Amplo Global takes a product and services to market. Our platform, Amplify 4.0, has been successfully verticalized in four major industry verticals. One is automotive and industrial. Second is oil and gas. Third is consumer services, which includes consumer goods and retail and distribution logistics. And number four is life sciences or health sciences, which includes not only pharma companies and biotech companies, a little bit of hospitals and insurance and the whole payer and providers of sub-vertical as well under overall health sciences. The way we have gone to market, what we have seen is if we take an example of, let's say, a water stewardship, that example is so true from a farm to table company, a consumer products company, perishable consumer products company, to a retail company where we have worked on cotton circularity. And that is also true for pharma manufacturing, drugs manufacturing, biotech manufacturing, to automotive even to oil and gas, because water is such an element that's being used almost in every industry vertical. But here is the catch. The catch is, how do I measure that as an input to my scope one and two and three? How that really plays in my physical risk and transition risk by industry, by vertical? A very typical example would be, when I go for an automotive plant, the water intake, it can be recycled based on waste, removing the chemicals, and reuse of the water. Can this be done in a pharma manufacturing company? The answer is no, because the federal requirement is not to reuse that water from a good manufacturing practice perspective. Now there, how do you bring water stewardship? So these are some things that we bring out in our vertical focus discussion offerings and services.